Hey guys, welcome back to Broke Over Land. My name is Chad, and in this episode, we're going to go ahead and start making some drawer and cabinet door faces. So what I'm trying to do is use a European style hidden soft close hinge. Um, but the problem is, is the distance on this thing isn't quite what we need. So if we take a look at this hinge, the distance from where it hooks around the edge of the 80-20 to where the hole goes through is not deep enough. We need exactly half an inch, which is about 3 16 of an inch further this way. So let's go set up a jig and machine one of these or two of these and make them fit. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump in the shop and get to it. So what I've done is just basically taken a piece of two by two steel, drilled and tapped a four millimeter hole through there so they can mount this right on the, and there's just enough of an overhang on the edge. So when I stick it in the, in the vise, it locks it in place. So let's see if we can just snuggy that up just a little bit more. Okay, let's give it a shot. Of course, the camera's right in my way. Theoretically, it's gonna work. We'll get this lined up when we actually have door faces. Mm, yeah, it lines right up. Nice. Okay, let's put a hinge on Sia. Front first, then back. Click. Cool. All right, now we gotta figure out how to make some doors, yeah? So I'm driving to the store to get figure out what wood I wanna use, and uh, I think it's a sign. And I'll use poplar. Come on. Drive me crazy.
<laughs> okay, so got our first coat down. Now we just got to wait and uh, wait for a couple hours and we'll do a second coat. And we're going to go ahead and save on our paintbrush. All right, we got our doors with the second coat of lacquer on them. We're gonna go ahead and peel this off and see what we got. Knew I shouldn't have cut my fingernails this morning. There we go. Finished product. A little mineral spirits clean some of these goobers up along the edges and we'll be ready to do install. screws in the bottom of this thing. All right. Let's go put these in the truck. <laughs> I was going to have a really cool review reveal. So we got all of our doors cut. They look pretty dang good. Except I cut them all exactly one inch too short. <laughs> They're all, every single door is one inch too narrow. <laughs> well, I guess I get to do that again. Well, there we go. We have ourselves some cabinets and drawer faces. The difference, you'll notice uh, the color difference between these two. Uh, and that's because this is a whiter, the whiter poplar and the drawers have a uh, more yellow, darker. The original wood was a yellow or darker poplar. Um, so that's how we ended up with the, the color differential um, between the two. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and stick with this. I like, I like, I really like the way that these drawer faces came out and I was kind of hoping we would get more of the white poplar um, so that we could get a little bit more of the uh, uniformity around the, the drawer faces. So I may cut the, recut these drawer faces at a later date, but I'm kind of digging the way that it it kind of flows between the countertop and kind of mirrors the, the serrations in the countertop versus the, the doors and kind of has that dual tone again. So I'm kind of liking it, but I kind of don't like it. So anyway, if leave your comment down below, see if you like it or don't like it, or, you know, if you do it out of melamine or what. <laughs> well, there we are. So hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did go ahead and click the little like button down there. Uh, if you want to be a subscriber and see more of this content, go ahead and click subscribe down below and we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, we got our doors. Second coat of stain, our lack shit. <laughs> Today, we're gonna to make some cabinet faces, just like this. There we go. We got ourselves some drawers and door faces. <laughs> God, this YouTube stuff is easy. <laughs>